Hello everyone, welcome to Radiology Case Review Series. In this video, we are going to look at images of a young male patient who presented to emergency department with altered mental status. Patient's roommate noted that patient had acute confusion and had no recollection of events for the past few days. He had acute memory loss. Patient initially underwent CT head examination. On the CT head examination, as you scroll through, we don't see any obvious acute hemorrhage, mass effect or midline shift. The study was read out as negative. I'm just going to show you coronal reconstructions as well. Again, we don't see any obvious acute abnormality. But upon closer evaluation, we can see there is symmetric hypodensity in the temporal lobes, which has comma-shaped configuration in the region of hippocampus. I'm going to show you the MRI examination. On the MRI, DWI sequences, we can see restricted diffusion in bilateral hippocampi, which would explain the hypodensity seen on the CT head examination. Patient also had additional foci of restricted diffusion in the spleen of corpus callosum and in the left temporal lobe. On the axial flare images, we can see hyperintensity in bilateral hippocampi. On the coronal flare images, again, we can see hyperintensity in bilateral hippocampi. There was no associated abnormal enhancement in the bilateral hippocampi. So our patient has acute altered mental status with amnesia, with hypodensity in bilateral hippocampi, which was not recognized on the initial CT head evaluation. These findings, because they are symmetric, can be overlooked if we don't pay attention to the clinical details. And on MRI, we saw restricted diffusion in the hippocampi with flare hyperintensity. In terms of differential diagnosis, it could be hypoxic ischemic injury, seizures, infarcts, hypoglycemic encephalopathy, or some kind of toxic metabolic encephalopathy, encephalitis, or transient global amnesia. Our patient's toxicology screen came back positive for fentanyl. So we are essentially dealing with opioid-associated amnestic syndrome. This is a case report on opioid-associated amnestic syndrome few key points from this article. As we saw in our patient, opioid-associated amnestic syndrome has distinct imaging findings on MRI and on CT with injury to the bilateral hippocampi. Fentanyl is attributed in most of these patients like what we saw in our case. It is important to remember that imaging findings can resolve quickly and standard toxicology screens may sometimes come back negative for synthetic opioids. So it's important to be cognizant of this diagnosis. A group of physicians in neurology, radiology, medical toxicology, and emergency medicine who cared for patients with OAS collaborated to define the definition for OAS. On the literature search, they identified 40 patients and they came up with this criteria based on which patients can have confirmed probable or possible OAS. Our patient falls under the confirmed criteria because his toxicology screen was positive for fentanyl and had bilateral hippocampal signal changes. I hope you found this case of opioid-associated amnestic syndrome interesting and informative. Thanks for your attention.